want the consistency to be pourable. I find this is a bit too thick, but this is okay. Can you see the difference? Once you pour the butter, I like to make it as thin as possible. Bonito flakes and tororo kombu are optional, but I highly recommend adding it to bring more umami taste. If you don't have access to tororo kombu, you can sprinkle on some kombu dashi powder or put kombu into the food processor and blitz up until it reaches sound like consistency. My noodles are already pre-cooked. If it's hard to break them apart, splash some water. It should do the trick. I like Hiroshimayaki better than Okonomiyaki because it's light. And you can really taste the individual components. The crunchy texture from the cabbage and bean sprouts, richness from the eggs. This okonomiyaki sauce rounds up every component together very nicely. <laughs> if you don't have access to okonomiyaki sauce, you can opt for tonkatsu sauce. If you are vegan, feel free to omit the eggs and bonito flakes. Noodle often contains eggs, so make sure to check the label before you purchase.
to slurp the noodle. We slurp in Japan, but I understand some country it's it's kind of rude to make a sound when you make when you eat the noodles. So I made some tea for myself. So let's have a chat. I want to ask you something. So when it comes to creating videos, I tend to overthink. Like what kind of video that you guys want to see or what if my video is not helpful enough for you guys. And I was thinking and thinking and thinking almost to the point that I don't want to create any more videos at all for the past few months, to be honest. But recently, I had a breakthrough as I talking to one of the members in the Ikigai Cooking Club. Ever since I started this channel, which is almost three years ago, I thought my job is to create Japanese food recipes for you guys to create in your kitchen. But my whole purpose of running this YouTube channel is something more than that. As I talked to the members, I realized that many of you got interested in Japanese cooking through different parts of Japanese cultures like maybe anime or the movies or the communication with the Japanese people when you come to Japan. If I can help to connect people in Japan and culture to you guys, that will be my dream. The, the problem is I am such an introvert. <laughs> so letting myself out of the kitchen, it's, it's a big leap for me. So I need your advice, I need your help. So the question is, what would you like to see? Like for example, which restaurant or which places in Tokyo you want me to visit and film and share with you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm planning to go to Natto Maker to ask everything about the Natto this weekend. So if you have anything in your mind, Please share in the comment section. I'd love to create this channel with you guys. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. And I won't stop creating videos in the future, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.